So you wanna lose a little bit of body fat. So you inquire with your local personal trainer about how exactly you do that. And they've said no more burgers, no more pizza, no more wine, no more biscuits, no more ice cream. And even just thinking about that makes you think one thing, I'd rather be fat than have to give up all of those things. Good news. I have a way you can do both. First of all, you need to determine what is a calorie deficit for you. I have a calculator, there's a link in the description or just Google James Smith calorie calculator. But let's say you need 2000 calories a day. First thing we do is we times that by seven. That's how many days are in a week for any of you from Essex. Which gives us a weekly net total, 14,000 calories a week. It's better if we see it over a week than it is day to day. Now you don't have to track forever, but I ask you to do this. Maybe one, maybe two weeks. But your week is gonna begin on a Friday. Friday night, couple of drinks after work. Get yourself a nice Mexican burrito because you deserve it. Saturday, you had a breakfast, and lunch, and dinner with the in-laws. When your mother-in-law asks you if you want some more of what she just cooked, you're not gonna be rude and you're gonna say yes. Sunday, calories don't count on a Sunday, so you get a little bit carried away because it's Monday tomorrow. Now, all we're gonna do now is add up the amount of damage you've done in the weekend. I'm not gonna tell you off. I'm not gonna say you're a failure. I'm not gonna say it's bad. I'm just saying, let's be accountable for what we've done. I wear my keys, I wear my phone. You're right, 9,200. And you just take stock of the fact you consume 9,200 calories. Cool. What is that from our weekly total? That is 4,800. We now divide that by the remaining days of the week. The remainder is going to be 1,200 calories every day if you wish to hit your deficit. And you're probably going to turn up to work and one of the girls is going to go, babe, 1,200 calories, that's too low. But they don't know what you got up to at the weekend, and I do. But you need to have that poverty calories if you're still going to hit the deficit. What else are your options? Good question. Stop being such a gluttonous cunt at the fucking weekend. Maybe less booze, less food, more activity, whatever it is. But something has to give. Because if you do not make the amendments to the other part of your week to make up for your weekend, then you're having your cake and eating it at both periods. And I can tell, looking at you. You could have the same amount of calories every day, this is up to you. It's a bit like when you went shopping at the weekend and bought that expensive item that you couldn't afford. You could do two things. You can not spend as much money in the lead up to buying that thing so you can afford it or you could just buy it and then have to live like a pauper for the period after until you can recuperate the funds to live like a normal human being again. The choice is up to you. But Newton's fifth law states that if you're going to overconsume calories at some point, you need to reduce the calories at the other point. And if you don't, you'll remain fat. Thank you, Newton. That was way too long, but anyway.